Hey friends, it's Lauren Taylor. Thank you so much for joining me today in my craft room. And we're jumping right in on how I created this adorable little strawberry box card. Strawberry basket box card. <laughs> I have a piece of six by six white card stock and I'm using the layered strawberry stencils to create a fun, shiny background. So I'm starting with stencil A. But I only want to add color to my strawberries, so I'm going to use some masking tape to cover up all of the little flowers. And once those are all covered up, I'm going to open up my Festive Berries Distress Oxide. I thought this would be a really pretty strawberry color and ink through all of the strawberries on this first stencil. When that's done, I'm going to add the B stencil, and this time I'm adding in pine needles to add the greenery of my strawberry, so the tops as well as the leaves. Next, I'm going to add stencil C, but this time I only want to color in the center of the flower. So instead of masking, I'm just grabbing a small little blending tool, and I'm adding mustard seed to the little circles through that stencil. I brought back stencil A because now that my centers of my flowers are done, I'm adding some kind of opalescent stencil paste on top. So you'll still be able to see that yellow center because it, it's not a very um, colored stencil paste. I hope that makes sense. It's a little translucent. That's the word I'm looking for. And I'm just using a palette knife and adding this paste this is solar paste in golden hour oh across all of the openings of my flower since i'm using a smaller palette knife i was able just to go in and take my time to add in that stencil paste to cover the flowers i'm going to set that aside to dry and work on coloring in my images so these are all stamped and die cut using the fresh berries stamp set and coordinating dies and i'm using oh hoo hoo art markers to color in my images so all of my green pieces so the tops of my strawberries the leaves the, and the leaves uh, stems i'm going to color in with three shades of green so i'm starting off with g1 as my darkest color and i'm adding in the shadows of where i think the darkest parts of these um, images are. And then I brought in G490 as my midtone, and I'm adding that color in, making sure to blend into the darkest color just to kind of help spread out some of that color and uh, bring out the darkness and blend it into my midtone. Now I thought my leaves were a little too blue green, so I wanted to bring out more of a yellow green. So I'm coloring in with G140 and just really blending in the dark and the medium with this lightest tone. And I like that it looks a little bit more yellow green than blue green. I just really like this color combination. It starts off with a nice deep tone, but then has a really nice bright center of my leaves and the tops of my strawberries. For the berries, I'm going to bring out some red tones, of course. So I'm starting with R170, and this is going to be the color I use for all of my strawberries. So starting with the darkest color along the edge of my strawberry and adding a little bit of shadow to where the tops of the strawberry would cast some shadow, and then bringing in R160 as my midtone. So bringing again some of that darker color out, trying to blend those together to create a nice shadow around the edge. And then my lightest color is R150 and I'm gonna completely color in my strawberry. This R150 has a bit of a kind of an orange tint to it, which I thought was really pretty. And overall it looks like a really nice ripe strawberry. For the seeds, I'm going to use a brown. This is E430, and I'm just coloring in the seeds. No, uh, no mixing or shadowing or anything for those. For my strawberry flowers, I wanted a very pale yellow, so I'm bringing out Y010 to color in the petals of my flowers. I didn't do any shading for these either, since they're such small little flowers, and the center is Y2. For my berry basket, I wanted to go with a teal blue color, so my darkest part of my basket is G500, 
Then the next shade is G324, and that is my second color, just to color in those dark parts of the berry basket. And then it's gonna be the darkest tone for the actual basket. So I'm gonna go along the edges, just adding color in where I think the darkest uh, colors would be, like shadows along the edges. And again, that will be the darkest color for my berry basket um, for the outside. And then the mid-tone is G326. So going back over those colors uh, or the first layer of alcohol marker color that I um, started with and then bringing in and just kind of blending that out into the white space with my mid-tone. And then the final color is G322. And I'm going to completely saturate again over where I have the ink already, so where the dark and the midtone are, and blend that into the white cardstock. And this um, actually has a little bit more of a blue tint to it, so you get that teal in the shadows, but then the berry box itself looks like a nice pretty pale blue color. So I'm gonna finish coloring in this large image. I feel like large images take so much more uh, attention to detail to make sure you have a really nice blend. Um, but overall, I think it turns out really pretty. So now that that is done and my first layer of stencil paste is dry, I'm gonna bring back out, this is the C layered stencil, and I'm gonna add my strawberry seeds using more of this solar paste. This is a more reddishy pink tone called Cross My Heart. And just like I did with the flowers using that small palette knife, I'm going to add in this stencil paste over the strawberry seeds, doing my best to avoid the center of my flowers and just get that stencil paste through my strawberries. So those seeds are now done, so I'm gonna set it aside to dry. And while that is drying, I'm gonna work on die cutting out my box card. I grabbed some blue cardstock that I thought matched the berry box pretty well, and I die cut the base as well as two of the smaller rectangle pieces. I'm going to add in my adhesive to the tabs of those two smaller rectangle pieces using some quarter inch adhesive. Once I have the glue on all four of my little flaps, I'm going to go ahead and glue my box card together. So one of the rectangle pieces will be the front of the box card, making it a box. So I went ahead and adhered that right to the edge of the left flap. And then I'm going to take the second one and I'm gonna glue it to the middle and all the way to the very top of the angled side piece. Once those are in place, I'll peel off the release paper off the other flaps, and then I'm gonna fold my box card together to adhere those to the other side, so the right side of my box card. Now that my base is done and I checked on my strawberry seeds, they are dry, we're gonna add our final layer of stencil paste. Lots of detail on this background, but I really love how it turns out in the end. And for this last one, I'm grabbing out the D stencil, which only has the leaf details, which is really nice. And I can just go ahead and spread this final solar paste in crocodile tears over all of the openings for the leaves. So that will be the last layer of stencil paste or any type of ink on my background. So I'll go ahead and set this aside to dry for the last layer. And I absolutely love all that shine. And while that's drying, we're going to work on the sentiment. I have some cardstock that I thought matched the strawberries in the background, the stenciled background, and I'm going to emboss the very much part of my sentiment using some embossing ink and white embossing powder. I use some anti-static powder on my cardstock before stamping so that way I could get a nice clean embossed sentiment. So I'm using white embossing powder as it is a darker cardstock for my sentiment. Went ahead and used my heat gun to melt that embossing powder down. And once it was cool to touch, I used a Swiffer cloth just to clean up the extra anti-static powder and used its coordinating die to die cut it out. 
I'm going to go ahead and peel off all of my images and do a dry run of how I think they should look in my little strawberry basket. And once I was happy, we're going to go ahead and glue that together. So I added some adhesive to the back side of my strawberry basket and I'm tucking in my strawberries. I'm going to do the two large strawberries and two of the smaller ones. And I'm also going to add my large set of three leaves to the top left hand side. I end up gluing it a little higher than I was planning to so I will adjust it in a little bit. And then two of my flowers onto those leaves. So I did the larger flower and one of the smaller flowers. For my other images I'm going to add them to the bottom right of my strawberry basket since I have more images towards the top left I'm going to add more images to the bottom right and create a kind of a long look across in a diagonal of my images. So I have the leaves I have one tucked behind the basket and one tucked behind the strawberry and then one more little flower. So here is where I'm realizing that my leaves are very tall so I'm going to very carefully peel off those leaves. Luckily it was wet glue and it wasn't fully dried and I'm going to figure out a better place for them and once I see aesthetically that it's pleasing to me I'll go ahead and add more glue and glue that in place. Those are going to sit on the little shelf on the inside of my box so I'll go ahead and glue that in place. Once that's done, my background is dry. All of my stencil paste is finally ready to be die cut. So I'm going to grab the scallop die cut pieces from the scallop box card and I'm going to die cut my arch background for the back of my box card, the two side pieces, and one of the rectangles to be on the front of my box card. And I'll go ahead and die cut those out with my die cutting machine and then I will glue them in place. So I'm gonna add the arch die cut piece as my background. So just gonna use some wet glue so that way I have a little bit of wiggle room to make sure I have that centered onto the back. And then I'll add my two side pieces, making sure to glue them in the right spot that the trapezoid shape fits perfectly on the two sides. And before I glue the front part of my image on, I want to do a little bit more stamping to finish off my sentiment. I grabbed an ink pad. I'm using an acorn color. It has kind of a reddish brown color to it. And I'm stamping the sentiment love you and I'm going to make sure that is centered as best as I can onto my scallop piece where there is some white showing in the background. And then I will glue this to the front of my box card. And then finally I will glue on the very much sentiment to my box card. I hope you had fun putting together this box card with me. I absolutely love the new release from Pretty Pink Posh. All these adorable little fruit elements are just so fun and I love the berry basket. I think it's so cute and can definitely be uh, customized to your favorite colors. I really like the teal look so that's why we went with the teal and you can change up your fruit as well from any of the other stamp sets. Here's a final look at the box card so you can see those adorable strawberries and little flowers and just the little subtle touches, especially the shine from all the different stencil paste. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll click like and if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. As always, you can find everything I use down below in the description box. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye!